Hey, I'm JP at Retro Game Rarities, and I'm going to show you why you shouldn't purchase the new Nintendo Switch light gun accessory from the manufacturer, Doby. Retro Game Rarities. First, some pros. The design is great, looks great, the mold is high quality thick plastic, and feels solid in the hand. The Joy-Con also fits perfectly and the trigger works well. However, the honeymoon ends here. Why do you ask? Well, you have to understand how the Joy-Cons move the aiming reticle. It uses the gyro, which is less than perfect compared to infrared, like the Wii uses. What does this mean? It means you have to recenter the reticle as you're going through the game, because the gyro will go off center when trying to aim. You don't really have to move much, and the Joy-Con will fade off center. Recentering isn't a big deal if the ergonomics are on point like on the Switch shotgun which I previously reviewed. You hit a Joy-Con button near your trigger finger, and it recenters. Problem for the Doby is you have to hold the gun with two hands if you want to recenter the reticle. This is not an ideal situation. You can't hold this like a handgun, but more like a minigun. If this doesn't bother you, go for a purchase. These are cheap at under 10 bucks for two. Be warned that the experience falls flat. That'll wrap it up. If you're curious about a far superior gun accessory for the Switch, check out my Switch shotgun video in the end card. Again, I'm JP. Thanks for watching.